All right, let's bring you in for a little bit of an update here. I've made myself a little bit of room. I'm not done by a long ways, but I'm at least starting to see a little bit of a uh, glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. As you can see, there's a little bit of space finally available. I've got the Cochrane Bly back into a space where I think it's probably going to stay until I get the other mill moved out, which will probably be many months in the future. I've got it down on the floor. It's off of its rollers now. It's a little bit uneven, so I'm going to have to shim this closest side a little bit to even it up and stop it from rocking. But I'll deal with that on another day. Hopefully in the next few days I'll get it wired back up and running again. I've got a 100% cleared workbench top finally. I need to spend a little bit of time working on it. I had forgotten that I cut part of it out to make room for this mill, so I need to make some repairs on this edge of it. I don't know if you can see that the one 2x4 is missing there, but not a big issue at the moment. Probably going to leave most of that stuff underneath there. <clears throat> Bunch of projects that I need to tinker with. A Wisconsin engine, a Kohler M-series, a few other odds and ends. That I can't even remember off the top of my head. So that corner, I'm just going to call that the corner of no return for a while. We'll just keep kind of piling stuff in there for a little while and until I can kind of get a handle on things. <clears throat> this stuff here, I'm going to try and find a more suitable home for over the next few days. The stuff that's on, now this stuff right here, machining related stuff, the cutters and whatnot, I'm probably going to try and find make a shelf underneath of the workbench for. The grinding stones, I think those are going to go in the house upstairs into long-term storage because I don't think there's, I'm going to use those, probably going to try and sell them eventually. I think I'm going to take this, the Tower of Saws, and I think I'm going to move it, since it's on wheels, back to the outer edge of the garage by the garage door. I think now that I've got enough space, I'm going to be able to bring the motorcycle and two of the garden tractors in in a single file line, basically right up to where I'm currently standing. <clears throat> And then hopefully, if I need really need the extra space, I'll just shove the Tower of Saws out temporarily. And you know, with the extra space, I'll, uh, it's a lot easier to get the garden tractors and the motorcycle shoved out. I'm thinking maybe the welding cart's probably going to do the same thing close to the garage door. And there again, possibly just outside when I need the extra space. One of the things I've been contemplating is trying to pour a concrete pad right outside, immediately outside the garage. So maybe before fall gets, uh, gets around, maybe this will be the year to start seriously doing something about that. We'll see. Uh, that would make rolling things in and out quite a bit easier. I think the big drill press is going to get a pair of outboard wheels on the front edge of it so that I can kind of move it around a little bit because I'm not sure where it's going to go yet. I think the two little drill presses are going to go in the house for a while until there again I decide if and where I'm going to use them and how. Oh, let's see. That mower deck is supposed to have been getting rebuilt so hopefully 
come fall, I will actually get into that and then put it into storage. Anyways, I still have more work to do. I've got, I'm making additional plans for what to do with the shelves because there's a lot of stuff on these shelves that simply hasn't been touched since it was put on the shelves. So I need to spend some time thinking about some of that stuff. I think that grinder is possibly going to go outside permanently. <clears throat> what else was going to go outside? Oh, this press. I think the screw press, the one hiding in the back there, I think that's going to go outside permanently also. So we'll see for sure. I'm trying to determine what things I can possibly justify exposing to the elements and what things need to go in the house, what things need to go in the garage, etc., etc. So let's see. Oh, <clears throat> the um, the dividing head is hopefully going to go up underneath the workbench somehow, or maybe I've maybe I've got just enough of a cubby hole under the lathe. Maybe I can put that under the lathe here on something that can roll in and roll out. We'll see. And the other Logan lathe headstock, I'm not sure. I haven't figured that one out yet. I, I need to do a video specifically on the second Logan lathe and kind of explain the ins and outs on that thing to you guys. That's a project that's in the fairly distant future so okay um and another shell set of shells that needs to be gone through stuff that just simply doesn't get used hardly at all except for the wire nuts and electrical tape so anyways i am constantly thinking about how to keep fine-tuning this as i go forward trying to employ new tactics and at least give myself a, a reasonable rule of like cleaning up once one day out of the week or one day every 10 days, something like that, to make sure that I don't get back to this point again. So we'll see how that all works out. <laughs> That's enough for tonight, I think. <clears throat>